Hi everybody, this is CJ. Um, I'm not going to be referring to myself as Ludens anymore. Um, CJ is actually my real initials. It doesn't stand for like Christ Jesus or anything like that though. I just have a normal, typical female, you know, Christian name that uh, my mother gave me. And so I'll just be referring myself to to myself as CJ from now on. Um, just kind of documenting today um, some more of my experiences. Um uh, I've kind of gone out there into the world and uh, met some people who have some needs and that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I met a guy, if you've been reading my blog on MySpace, um, you'll know that I met a guy out of the park. Um, he's homeless and he, ha he has a need for um, a new pack. Um, the shelter that he goes to, they're making him downsize the pack that he currently has, which is um, like this army duffel bag over here. This is my personal um, duffel bag from my time that I was in the army. But his his bag is identical, basically, to this one. Um, they're making him downsize this um, because they get picked up in a van. And they said that his bag is too big. It's taking up too much space. And it, it just really, it really touched my heart because everything that this man owns is in this small... They're not very big. If you know anything about the army, you're familiar with these. Everything he owns is in this small army duffel bag. Um, and they told him that that's too much. It's just, it's just amazing to me. But um, uh, it just hit me personally. Because um, anybody who's ever been in the military, you know, you kind of identify with this bag. And that's why I still even have mine. Because I've been out of the military going on 10 years now. And I still have my bag. It's got my name uh, stamped on it. And uh, my social security number and everything. Because um, that's just the attachment that you form. Uh, there's Part of your identity is in this um, bag, you know, in the service that you gave to your country. And they're taking that away from him. It's hard for me to even talk about um, so anyway, I kind of stepped on out, out on faith and told him that I would look for a bag for, to replace his, um, his military duffel. Um, the bag that I actually found is this one over here. Um, this is the bag that I plan on giving to him today. Um, I just thought it was probably going to be appropriate for him to help him retain some of his um, identity, you know, because it's green like his duffel and stuff like that. Just hopefully this bag will be a blessing to him. I kind of had to step on out on faith to buy this because you guys know this stuff isn't cheap. Um, but he said he wanted something, you know, smaller and something that he could strap his um, his sleeping roll to um, on the outside so this one's got these and I bought some extra straps for him so he can strap his sleeping bag uh, it's got like a water bladder that you can put in it too and I just I just had to step out on faith and buy this for him because um, I only had like 49 bucks that I um, had extra at the at the moment to spend and um, this bag and this water bladder and these straps all came in at 46 bucks so <laughs> it's like God works in mysterious ways um, just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. Um, I don't even know if this guy will accept this bag. I'm going to take all the tags off and everything so he doesn't think that I put myself out, you know, for it. But um, I just wanted to document this for everybody um, just to show that it's possible to step out on faith. You, you never know who's put in front of you every day that you could be helping. There's a lot of need out there right now in the world. Um, I just saw a little taste of it yesterday um, when I went to the park and met all these homeless people. So. I'll probably be making some short videos like this, just explaining um, different things that I encounter and just different ways that I'm able to help. Um, hope that all of you will kind of get up some courage and just go out there and uh, see what happens. Be be prepared at first, though, of course. You have to be in the Word because you're going to face some really crazy stuff out there. Like yesterday when I was in the park, um, somebody passed out from, you know, I guess they had a seizure because they were like on drugs or whatever and just, just different things like that you're going to see out there if you go out there. So be in the world and prepare yourself. Um, not the world. Be in the word when you're in the world and prepare yourself um, for the different things that you're going to see. You might even face rejection. Of course, people will reject you. Um, just different things like that. So just, just things that I've learned from my experience um, that I'm trying to pass on to um, other people so that we can kind of 
get this thing moving and have people, um, you know, go out there and try to make a difference. All right, everybody, um, be blessed. God loves you. I'm out. Bye.